Yeah. Move left, move right, move left, move up, move down. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. so fast. Okay, left. Fire, 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 fire. Shoot, yep. shoot, 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 yeah, shoot. Yeah, there go nuclear. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Quick question for you. Did you know that there is a speech to text technology at CES that works without the internet and can understand different accents in real time? Well, the answer to that, we have to go here. Check this out. So CES is packed with AI, but what if I told you that some of the smartest AI here doesn't even need the cloud? Today, I'm at the Speechomatics booth, testing speech-to-text that works entirely on device. All right, so I got Eli here, and uh, well, Speechomatics, well, can you tell us a little more about that? Yeah, absolutely. So we're Speechomatics. We specialize in ASR, which is automatic speech recognition. So super low latency, super high accuracy transcription. We can do this in 55 languages and counting. And oh, now, wow. after uh, being able to deploy this both in SaaS and on-prem, we can also do it on-device without internet connectivity. That's awesome. Now, uh, looks like we got some different setups here, is that right? We do, yes. Uh, so right here we have our SAS, which is actually recording us as we're speaking. Oh, wow. So uh, <laughs> it's doing a little bit of transcription. Um, and uh, you'll notice that uh, if I'm speaking into the mic, it's picking up my voice, but... It's all um, in real time. Exactly. It's all in real time, super low latency, super high accuracy. Um, we actually can set it up differently too. A lot of different uh, customizations exactly, aspect of it. I see yeah. that right over here. Exactly. So we can do different languages. Um, we can even uh, enable like speaker ID and do diarization. Which is the differentiation of speakers. Okay. I'll just pull this up. You'll notice as well that it's picking up my name, so I can actually pre register oh, and do some identification. So just a 15 second audio clip. And as I'm talking over you, it does it, it's not really picking me up at all. Now it is. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, okay. it is picking you up. Yeah, it actually should be diarizing you. It's not maybe the best for the footage. Fair enough, fair enough. But um, it might be that we have similar voices. So. Got it. Okay, <laughs> <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's able to pick me up because um, I pre registered and everything. And um, yeah, we're quite good at the diarization. So that differentiation oh. between speakers. So in terms of registration of your voice, how does it that how does that all play out? Yeah, sure. It's basically a 15 second audio clip. Okay. Um, you upload it um, uh, to our API, okay. and then it returns a hash that you load up in subsequent sessions. So it's not like we're storing anything, which is good because right. that would be like all you know maybe that makes privacy sense. concerns yeah, yeah. and stuff. Um, and then yeah, it could be really useful for a lot of use cases if you want to drown out background speakers or yeah. focus on key speakers and things like that. Speechomatic specializes in advanced speech to text. It's designed to be fast, accurate, incredibly flexible from what I'm understanding. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. And the big deal here is that it's on-device speech recognition, so it doesn't require a cloud, correct? Yep, correct. So that means everything runs locally, no internet connection is required, and on-device processing, no cloud dependency, as well as low latency, privacy friendly, pretty much checking all the boxes. That's what we think. Uh, in terms of why it really matters, well, obviously, you know, privacy is a huge sensitive topic in modern day environment, yeah. you know, real time applications and places where internet just isn't really reliable, yeah. kind of like where we're at right now. Exactly. So yeah. having this is definitely very important. Yeah. Now, so you can think this about like with robotics, mm -hmm. vehicles and like kiosks. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, smart devices, even like smart glasses and things yeah. like that. So, so pretty much anywhere speech needs to work instantly. Yeah. Uh, that's very interesting. Now, I do see that we have a live demo here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, can we actually try out that? Let's do it. Awesome. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's see how you do. <laughs> oh, wow. There, there's yeah, our live nice. demo yeah, right over here. Exactly. <laughs> That's impressive because you can actually see how accurately it picks up uh, the different accents. Maybe if I started talking like this, no, no, yeah. no. Uh, but you know, that's my native, uh, native yeah. uh, Pakistani yeah, accent. Sure, but, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so. we train the model on a lot of like unlabeled data. So yeah. a lot of audio with different accents or uh, English is maybe a second language or other languages yeah. a second language. And uh, we're able to then transcribe those different dialects and accents really seamlessly. Interesting. Uh, without uh, really any extra configuration. And it's got different languages as well. So yes, if I talk exactly. in like Urdu or something, we can also do that yes. as well. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, cool. Exactly. We can try that. Yeah, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, if you want to. Um, okay. Yeah, we pre-configure it. But, um, but, uh, uh, I do want to try out that retro yeah, yeah, arcade yeah, game thing. Let's, yeah. let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> well, fun fact here is that we'll be customizing our personal G1 with its own robotic voice using this technology. So we got some different ones here. It looks like uh, we have Jack, uh, Megan, yep. Theo. So let's try Hi, Jack. And welcome to the best show on earth, CES 2026. All right. I think we can make that happen. Okay, this might be the most fun speech demo at CES. <laughs> we, we think so. <laughs> All right, Eli, come on, run through me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, we were looking at our SaaS-like transcription earlier, yep. but this is our actual on-device transcription, so we thought, what more fun way than to demonstrate this than putting our transcription on a Raspberry Pi here. So we've exactly. got like Pi 5, uh, we're able to speak into it and then actually transcribe completely offline, so no internet connectivity ah. needed, um, totally offline and yeah. on-device. Okay, uh, yeah. Please. So first we can show you just like how how the basic transcription works. So sure. if I click start here, 
and we say allow. We can start speaking like right into the mic here and it's gonna start transcribing. And again, all this is without internet connectivity. We're just wow. doing this purely through the Raspberry Pi. Essentially, our model's shrunken down small enough to work on a device like this. Yeah, and how fast is picking everything up? Exactly, like still very low latency, still yeah. very real-time feeling, so useful for a lot of, um, you know, uh, use cases where maybe you want some sort of conversational agent on a device, you know, yeah. kiosk or smart glasses on your uh, phone even. So. It's really accurate, just the FYI. I mean, yeah. I haven't seen a single mistake yet, so yeah. that's really nice. Yeah, and that's been like part of the, um, it's the fun challenge, right, is making sure that we can keep our high degree of accuracy mm -hmm. on these like smaller models that need to fit on devices without draining the battery and all that, that stuff. So. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, we do have a, a game on here too. Yes, we do. Yeah, yeah this so is a little more play? fun than uh, this. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah. let's take a look at <laughs> let's that. Let's check it out. Um, you can you. enter your name here. Here you're going to see your different uh, voice commands. So you can go left, right. Okay. You'll want to say fire or shoot to actually um, shoot at the invaders. You want to try and clear the board as fast as you, you can. Okay. And you have three go nuclear shots or nuclear, ah. which will launch uh, a thing. And you'll want to um, speak pretty loudly and clearly in, in here. Um, okay. And and don't be afraid to spam either. I got know? it. Okay. <laughs> And then just say allow. All right. Uh, okay. Yep. And here we go. Three, two, one. Move left. Move left. <laughs> Move left. <laughs> Fire. Fire. <laughs> go go quick, quick. Go oh, yeah. yeah. Move left. Move right. Move left. <laughs> move up. Move down. <laughs> oh yeah, nice. so fast. Okay, loud. <laughs> fire, 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 fire. Shoot, yep. shoot, 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 yeah, shoot. Yeah, go there nuclear. You go, there you go. There you go. <laughs> move right. Right, 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 right. Oh no, move right, move right, move right, move right, move right. Yeah. Go nuclear. <laughs> I think I used all of those. Okay. Yeah. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. This is fire. taking forever. Fire, yeah. fire, 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 fire. Okay, clearly I'm not gonna win this game, but yes, <laughs> this is really cool because it does show you what you can do with it. Now, obviously you're not limited to just the basics of just translation, of course. Yeah. You can actually put it into something like a game, and this is great sure. for someone who can't type or whatever, you know, in that sense. Exactly, yeah. So that's awesome. So what is your real world applications that you would say that is designed for this. Yeah, 100%. Um, we've seen a lot of interest recently in having our transcription abilities um, in places that are essentially dark without uh, internet Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, that makes sense. It, it could be anywhere. You know, anything from, um, you know, maybe a doctor's or a dentist's office that doesn't have good internet connectivity. Mm. Uh, something in the field, so first responders maybe. But yeah. Thinking of some medical use cases, but also just applications where generally, you know, uh, someone privacy. might want it on their phone. Yeah. And privacy yeah. as well, exactly. Yeah, they need a, a closed uh, box. They don't want it going up to the cloud or even um, with uh, on-prem containers is too much. So Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love this setup. It was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good. I'm uh, happy, happy to hear it. Um, <laughs> so Speech Advantage is also running a startup program, and eligible companies can receive up to uh, $50,000 worth of credits? That is correct. That is yeah. amazing. So they'll also get, what, technical guidance uh, and a fast track to the market. So if you're working on anything that's voice enabled, this is absolutely a must worth trying out. Yep, exactly. Yeah, we want to really encourage developers to uh, get their hands on our transcription, try it out, yeah. and uh, maybe you can win. Yeah. You can check out the link down below at speechbatics.com uh, slash startup dash program. So between on-device speech-to-text, real-time accuracy, and fun demos like this, Speechmatics is also showing how voice AI can be both powerful and practical. Now with that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Bye.